Opera GX, the gaming web browser. Man, when I heard that on the news, I almost choked on my food because a gaming web browser, really? That sounded like a preposterous idea. Naturally, I had to check it out. And here's what I found. It's actually really surprising. Hey guys, Ian Blaze here doing yet another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the first gaming web browser, Opera GX. I remember the news about this popping up in my Google News feed one morning, and I naturally was inclined to check it out. Turns out that Opera GX isn't something new, however, and was released July 11th, 2019, the day after my birthday, 13th to be exact. I installed the web browser on both my main computer and the 1GB Windows 10 tablet PC, and to my surprise, Opera GX seems pretty cool. With features like built-in Twitch and chat integration, a resource limiter, more about that in a bit, and even a built-in ad blocker and VPN, Opera GX from the user perspective is chock full of wonderful and engaging features. Personally, my favorite part is mainly the chat room integration feature. I like the fact that I can be typing up an essay or a short story and receive messages from Discord and Instagram at the exact same time without using up my resources and having separate tabs open. And I enjoy the fact that you can split up your browser tabs into workspaces so you can easily manage and sort out all of your tabs. Installation and setup is pretty easy and customization of the browser is pretty amazing. My only complaints are there are so many ways to customize the browser that navigating the settings menu can become quite a task, not to mention that Opera can hog a ton of memory depending on what's happening within the browser. What I don't fully understand is, what makes it gaming aside from the splash screen that tells you all the latest games, which I admit is pretty helpful though. I mean, honestly, a gaming web browser seems pretty stupid and while the idea is there, there is nothing that makes this web browser directly suitable for gamers, not to mention the fact that not too many people play browser games nowadays, especially with the falling end of support for Adobe Flash Player. A few things I didn't like in particular were the fact that the browser's RAM limiter does barely anything to boost performance, and even though the difference can be noticed, it's too little to be able to boost other programs, and other tabs end up taking the RAM that you already limited. Also, I don't like the fact that the theme is permanently dark. That's pretty annoying when coming from browsers like Microsoft Edge with adjustable themes. They claimed it's to help your eyes adjust, and there's no doubt that it works. But after a while it gets really hideous, which I hate. This web browser, however, is highly useful for people like me who are often busy and forgetful and need all their tabs in one space. As I expressed before, I really, really enjoy the chat integration feature because I don't have my phone with me all the time, and if I need to send a quick message to someone on Discord while I'm working on something, it's not really going to be worth opening up another tab or reaching to get my phone. It's all about convenience, you know? And this web browser definitely hit the nail on the head for that. I actually typed up the entire script for this video using Opera GX on the 1GB Windows 10 tablet PC. And I did not see any stutter from the computer or the web browser, even though 1GB is not a lot to run any programs on. I ended up seeing more stutter from the operating system itself when attempting to open the Windows 10 start menu. So in my review, Opera GX is an 8 out of 10. I mainly took points off because gaming web browser is a misleading statement. The RAM limiter does not do much in terms of performance, and the always dark theme is pretty annoying to look at after a while. But still, overall, if you are looking for a web browser to beat Microsoft Edge or Chrome on Microsoft Windows, and you need something with overall convenience and simplicity, Opera GX is my number one pick, hands down. It even beats Mozilla Firefox. So that's my review of Opera GX. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like content like this, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh yeah, one last thing. I got a new microphone by the way, so if you guys like this microphone, then be sure to um, leave your thoughts on it in the comments below. I know I got another microphone like a couple of days ago, but you know, it didn't really meet my expectations, so I quickly got another one. So, yeah. Okay, bye.